Hey YouTube, this is DWS Darius. Today we are in a fish room and today I would like to talk to you guys about why I buy my aquarium fish as juveniles. So there are many pros and cons and in this video I'm just going to break them down and show you why I do it myself. Okay YouTube, so I've been keeping fish now for close to six years, keeping fish seriously that is. I started when I was about 16 and in December I'll be 22, so throughout that time I've kept many different fish. If I had to give a number of all the fish that I bought in that period of time, um, I would say maybe at least 500 fish. So I've bought many different fish in my time of fish keeping and um, out of all the fish that I bought, only two of those fish were bought as adults. Usually when I buy my aquarium fish, I like to buy them as juveniles. Now there are many different reasons, and in this video I'm just going to break down some of those reasons. Okay, so we'll start off with the most obvious reason why someone would choose a juvenile fish over an adult fish, and that is for the sake of price. So we all know that this fish keeping hobby is definitely not a cheap hobby, and um, the difference between an adult fish and a juvenile fish can be just so huge when it comes to price. Now I'm going to show you guys an example. So if we come over to this 125, I have my male Midas cichlid, who's about 11 inches. And I have my female, which I assume to be a female, Buttercofri cichlid. And um, she's about 10 inches. And at a local fish store, these fish would cost at least $100, especially since this male is just such a beast. His nuchal hump is so big, his fins are such so long and flowing. He's just a very gorgeous fish, and along with this tilapia, Buttercofri tilapia cichlid. These fish usually as they grow to adults they tend to fade and just be a plain gray color. She at this large size is still showing her stripes. So these are two beautiful fish and at a local fish store as adults at this size will cost at least $100. And um, as juveniles I bought these two fish as juveniles and this female cost me $4 and he cost me $4 as well. So it's just a huge difference when it comes to price. And the good thing is that these fish grow somewhat fast. So in six months, I had them at a decent size. So that's one of the major reasons why people tend to buy fish as juveniles because it's really a huge difference in price. Once again, this same this same group right here. I bought all these fish as juveniles, and um, I saved a lot compared to their original adult prices. So that's the main reason why people prefer to buy juvenile fish over adult fish. Okay, so I think that price is one of the main reasons why people buy juvenile fish. However, it's definitely not the only reason. Now, the next reason I think that people buy juvenile fish, well, I'm going to keep it personal, the next reason why I buy my fish as juveniles is because they are more adaptable as juveniles than when they are adults. If you bring an adult fish home, you have to adapt to that fish. You have to figure out what was previously fed to that fish, the previous living conditions of that fish, and that's how you'll know to um, treat that fish when you bring it home. However, when you buy juvenile fish, you buy them as juveniles and they're able to adapt to your lifestyle, to your way of keeping fish. So that's another huge thing when it comes to buying juvenile fish. They're more adaptable to your setups, whereas if you were to buy a large fish, they're more set in their ways and a lot of times you will have to adjust to that fish. Okay, and the last reason why I like to buy my fish as juveniles is because I just love to see my fish grow up. I love the fact that I'm able to say I had the fish since he was this big and now he's just a beast. For example, if we look at my male red devil cichlid, you all remember when I first bought him. He was so tiny, so insignificant, and I just was able to watch his entire life, him grow from something that looked like this. Oh, you see the fry back there? He looked like that. Um, I can't get any close-ups, but he looked just like that, and now look at him. And that's pretty much the same story with all my big fish. Um, they just evolve so amazingly and I never was a big fan of Pokemon But I find that aquarium fish are just like Pokemon with their evolution I mean they start off looking so strange and then they become just these beautiful awesome creatures So YouTube that's the third reason why I love buying my fish as juveniles Because I'm able to watch them grow up not just with appearance But also with personality when I buy my fish as juveniles I know the personality as they grow up so I know who to put them with where to place them what type of setup is best for them and um, it's just always nice to be able to know your fish in that kind of way. Okay, so I told you guys three reasons why I enjoy buying juvenile aquarium fish. However, I can't complete this video without telling you some of the downsides because there are downsides of buying your fish as juveniles. 
one of the main downsides, in my opinion, is the fact that when you buy juveniles, you really can't sex them. Nine out of ten times when you buy a juvenile fish, it's going to be unsexed because at that juvenile stage, it's just so hard to sex them. Now, when you have different aquarium goals like breeding fish, like with my green terra pair, and if I zoom in, you can see they have a nice little batch of wigglers, and the parents are in defense mode, so that's awesome. But if you ever wanted to experience something like this, if you ever wanted to um, breed fish or anything like that, Buying them as juveniles makes the process just extremely hard. Now, as I said before, the majority of my fish I bought as juveniles. These right here I bought as juveniles. And um, I went through five different green terrors until I was able to find a pair. And um, luckily I found such an awesome male. But it took me five tries before I was able to get it right. And um, if you buy your fish as, a, as adults, you can just straight away buy a male, buy a female. And the process is a lot easier. Another downside about buying unsexed juvenile fish is for the situation of a tank where you have fish that show different appearances between male and female. We know the African cichlids, the males generally show the most color while females are a lot dull and just plain ugly. So um, that also makes things a lot harder when you buy your juvenile fish. Most of us want males because we want the coloration and as juveniles you really don't get that opportunity to um, choose the beauty of the males, you're really gambling to see whether or not it's a male or a female. So that's just another disadvantage of buying juvenile fish. Another disadvantage of buying juvenile aquarium fish is just because you have to go through the waiting process for your fish to become adults. In my opinion, fish look the best as adults because with big fish, that's when they're at their maximum size. And with colorful fish, a lot of times, that's when they're at their most colorful state as adults. So um, that's another disadvantage. Some fish, like these right here, grow pretty fast, six months. I know to some of you guys, six months takes so much longer than buying just a nice big fish to fill your tank. But um, some fish even take longer than that. I know my Jardini Arowana, nine months it took them to reach nine inches or around that size. So some fish just grow very slowly. And so that's another disadvantage of buying your fish as juveniles. You will have to wait that entire process for them to reach adults. So those were the only disadvantages that I could think of. However, those two are pretty weighty matters and just enough to consider. So you two, I'm gonna give you guys a little recap. I myself love buying juvenile aquarium fish for three reasons. For number one, juvenile fish are a lot cheaper compared to adult fish, and this fish keeping hobby is not a cheap hobby, so you wanna save as much as you can. Number two, juvenile fish are very adaptive. You can bring a juvenile fish home and it'll find comfort quicker than an adult fish most of the time. And number three, I just love seeing a fish grow from that big to that big. I love the whole growth process. And that's why I prefer to buy juvenile fish. So let me know what you guys do. Do you buy juvenile fish? Do you buy your fish as adults? Or do you do a little bit of both? You come, you buy whatever comes your way and just seize the opportunity. So right before I close out, I want to give you guys another example. So right here is my 40 gallon reef tank. And I just picked up last week a coral beauty angelfish. Now angelfish are known to nip at corals. So this was a very risky move, especially since I love my corals. I love the growth that they're giving me and um, I don't want anything bad to happen. So it was a pretty risky move adding this angelfish. However, I added them as a juvenile because maybe as a juvenile, I can just take his attention away from the corals. I could give him some algae foods and just all different types of foods so that he won't feel the need to chew on the corals. Now, if I was to buy an adult coral beauty that had history nipping on corals, it would be almost impossible to turn him away from that bad habit. So that's just a little example that I was thinking of before I closed out of why I like to buy juvenile fish. So YouTube, that will be a wrap to this video. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want more, make sure you subscribe because I have a lot of tanks. Right there is my planet tank. The timer just cut off the lights. I have my red devil jaguar mixed up tank. I have some fry down there. I have some big boys up here. Green terrors over there. Salt water right there. African cichlids back there. A mixed up tank up there. And don't forget about the pond that's back there. And then I also have some empty tanks around here that's going to be filled pretty soon. So I have a lot going on, a lot to show you guys, many more different fish, and just a lot of fun. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, I want to thank everybody that takes the time to watch my videos, to show the support. Thank all of you guys for just all the comments that you leave because you guys know that it is very encouraging and very influential, influential to this hobby of mine. So usually that is all.